You might have noticed during our recent home tour video that we have a hodgepodge of wood furniture here at Clean My Space HQ. And over the years, many people have asked me, what is the best way to care for wood furniture? So this week, I'm gonna show you exactly how I maintain all of my wood furniture. As surprising as it sounds, the less you do to your wood furniture, the better it is for the furniture. In fact, varnished wood furniture in my home gets cleaned once a week using nothing more than a microfiber cloth and H2O. This removes any dust and the microfiber helps shine up the surface. If your wood is unfinished, just clean it using a dry microfiber cloth because moisture can parch and or warp the wood. And to determine if your wood is unfinished, just add a drop of water to the surface. If it beads, it's got varnish. And if it absorbs and leaves a little mark, which will dry up, don't worry, it's unfinished. Quick side note, if you wanna know how to clean hardwood floors, we've got a video for that, which I will link down below for you to click or tap. Now, you might be saying, Melissa, that's all fine and good, but what about furniture polish? Aren't I supposed to use that? Well, let me explain the FP situation here a little bit further for you. According to a manufacturer of a popular furniture polish brand, it's designed to bring out the shine of your wood and to polish and protect your furniture. But here's the kicker. Not all wood and wood finishes are created equal because of course different wood specimens and varnishes have different requirements. So furniture polish is really not an all-in-one solution. Further, and here's a misconception, it doesn't even clean anything. In fact, it can dull the finish and leave a buildup on your furniture over time. So in my professional opinion, leave store-bought furniture polish out of your cleaning kit. If you have been overusing furniture polish and you find that your wood is super dulled out, you'll see this haze or streaks that you just can't get rid of. So what you can do to manage that is apply a bit of vegetable-based enzyme cleaner to sit on the wood for a couple of minutes, which will sort of remove that buildup, and then you can wipe that away with a cotton cloth and buff it dry. Now if you can't find that, you can use steeped black tea to do this. The tannins in the tea will help break down that dulled finish and reveal a beautiful shine. Now if you don't know how to do that, I will pop the instructions up on cleanmyspace.com and the link will be down below for you. So when do you polish your furniture and how often? Well, the simple answer is to do it whenever the wood looks dull or uneven. And as I so often do, I'm gonna recommend that you just make your own furniture polish. In a clean spray bottle, add one part white vinegar to three parts olive oil and shake well. Spray the polish onto a soft cotton cloth and apply in a buffing motion to the wood furniture. The oil moisturizes the wood and the vinegar cleans it and of course, you can use the leftovers on your salad. Remember, using it too often will create a sticky buildup which attracts dirt and dust. You can also use this mixture on antiques, however, do be very careful when dealing with old antique pieces or furniture made from exotic woods. They may very well have specific cleaning requirements, so do your research. If you have heat or water marks, you can restore the wood by applying mayonnaise to the area, leaving it overnight, and then buffing it into the table in the morning. Now this one is hard for me to do because I have a major, and I mean major, aversion to mayonnaise. I don't know why this disgusting product works so well on wood, but it just does. The key to keeping your wood furniture in tip-top shape is preventative maintenance, Always wipe up spills and messes as soon as they happen, and try to use placemats and coasters whenever possible. It's best to make sure that everything decorative which is placed on your furniture has felt pads or something similar on the bottom to avoid scratching, and also try to keep your wood furniture away from fireplaces and radiators. And guys, if you do all that, your wood furniture is gonna last you for a real long time. This week's comment question is, what strong food aversions do you have? Leave me a comment down below. There's a button down there that lets me know you care, so click it if you liked this video. You can also click this button and subscribe to Clean My Space to begin your journey to a cleaner life. 
Do be sure to check out cleanmyspace.com for a whole host of cleaning articles, as well as the opportunity to sign up for our monthly newsletter, The Dirty Dish, which includes all kinds of extra little tips and tricks that nobody else gets. We are very socially active here at Clean My Space, so using the handle at Clean My Space, go ahead and find us on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, and Instagram. As always, thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.